started my journey from Mangalore in train. It was hardly an 8 to 9 hours journey. For commute, you can use either train, bus or flight. Kochi is the nearest international airport and Alapi is the nearest railway station. So finally, I'm here at Alapi station. Let's go and check for auto. This is the jetty where all the houseboats are parked for boarding and deboarding of the guests. So we entered the boathouse just now. Uh, you can see the boat. I'm right now sitting inside the boat. So as soon as we entered, we got served with the welcome drink. And yeah, see the view. So let me give you a quick tour of the houseboat. So this is the driver area where the driver steers the boat. The view from here is just amazing. Here you can see two bamboo chairs. You can sit here and gaze at the beauty. And when you go inside, you can see a small sofa here with the fan. And also a dining area with a small TV and a speaker for entertainment. There is a small bedroom over here. This is a 1 BHK boat house. Uh, there is a small window with curtain and view from here is just amazing. This room also has an attached bathroom. So this is another houseboat in the jetty. So this is a quite uh, bigger houseboat. You can see a large living area with two sofas and a dining area and this is a double decker uh, houseboat so there's, there's stairs you can go up and you can see this huge area you can book this for events or for parties and yeah of course a beautiful view from here this is how they start the this boat the house start from the engine okay this two is inverter and uh, engine battery so this is the main starter
smells so delicious in the kitchen. Let's check. You can customize the food according to your needs, both veg and non-veg options available. Kerala rice, cabbage, this is beetroot with uh, carrots, with carrot cooking with carrot, salad, the long beans, Kerala blackfish, samba, pickle, mango pickle, tapal. Houseboats in LFP starts from 1 BHK to 10 BHK with different variants like deluxe, premium and luxury. So the price varies accordingly. I booked 1 BHK boathouse for overnight stay costing Rs 7k. requested the driver to allow me to steer the boat for some time and he gladly agreed. This was kind of fun. Now boat has stopped at a small shop. So that is actually a toddy shop. Came here to buy toddy actually. Let's go and check. Mm -hmm. Taste the toddy here actually. It's kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Now the time is almost to 5.30. The boat riding has been ended. The boat is halted at a place called as uh, Coco Land. So for the whole night, the boat will be halted here and we'll be staying in the boat itself. Hey guys, it's 9 o'clock and it's dinner time. So you can see all the you know dishes are arranged in the table. So this is the prawn which we bought in the afternoon and also the crab which we bought along with the prawn. It's cooked now. This is a crab ghee roast and this is prawn fry. Uh, and also we have other dishes like chicken curry, dal, beans and bindi. Also we have rice and roti and also we have local toddy. Cheers! The next day early morning we decided to go for a shikara ride which is also known as canoe ride which cruises across the smaller canals which houseboat cannot reach. Shikara boat costed us rupees thousand for one hour. Look 
at the view here. It's very calm and relaxing and the canals are very narrow which is meant only for the canoe or the shikara ride. There are a lot of houses on both sides of canals. There are no direct roads connecting these villages, hence they are totally dependent on these boat jetties. So now we are back to the boat house again for a nice coffee. from the boat house uh, we really had a you know, very good very different experience so if you are planning to visit Kerala please don't miss out staying in the Aleppi boat house so signing off bye 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 thank you for watching and for more such travel content follow my youtube channel